The name of this project is Agro Waste Conversion Technology for the Production of Animal Feed and Fiber. For short, we call it Alcontech. It is a Delta II project of the PICCT, uh, domiciled in Nasseri. And what we do essentially is to look at our agricultural wastes. What are these wastes? The things we would have ordinarily thrown away after we have taken our food from the farm. And instead of letting these things go waste, we have devised a technology that converts them to feed so that the animals, what I, what I mean animals, goats, cows, sheep, can benefit from the things we ordinarily don't need. That is the agro waste conversion technology. The whole idea of this project is to develop nutritious and or nutrient dense agro feeds for different animals. And ultimately, this project aims to support the ranching initiative of uh, the federal government. Because when we produce animal feed that is nutritious and from waste materials, then there will be no need for, there will be minimal need for nomadic uh, cattle rearing. People can now start to keep their cattle in one place and feed them with nutrients, uh, dense foods. And that will solve a problem of uh, the insecurity problem, give us better uh, beef, good milk production and other, other, uh, other benefits. The major thing I do is uh, marketing, marketing. And then when, we're, when we talk about marketing, it's marketing of our product, which is a feed. And this uh, feed we're talking about is uh, easily accessible. It is quite cheap. You know, a bag of um, feed for um, chicken and dog. We are looking at more than 18,000 now. But this feed, a bag of feed, comes up with about uh, 12,000. The immediate advantage is that there are people who ordinarily would wish to keep animals, either as pets in their homes or as business. But feeding becomes an issue. So with what we have done, you can key in at different stages. You can key in at the stage of acquiring the machines, you make your own feed, or you key in at the stage of just picking the feed off uh, across the counter. You go home, you feed your animals. So it is a way of encouraging people who ordinarily are interested in livestock, but are hindered by issues of feeding which is key. If you looked at the, the gates as you were entering the farm, you would have seen Delta II projects, PICTT and the Naseni, which simply says that without Naseni, without the Presidential Implementation Committee, we would not be here today. I would like at this point to thank the Executive Vice Chairman of Naseni, Khalil Suleiman, and the Chairman of the PICTT, Dr. Mohamed Dahiru. Ordinarily, without Naseni and PICTT, and this thing won't be here. By the time they came, this place was a bush.